Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for July 9th through the 15th. This is for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, if you guys are in a happily ever after relationship, you probably shouldn't be watching tarot readings because I'll just fuck it up. Just saying, okay? This is for people that are struggling, okay? Usually people that are struggling in love. My readings are love readings. So if you're struggling in your relationship, that's when people come looking for tarot readings. If you are in a happy, happy ever after relationship, then readings probably aren't for you, okay? Um... Unless you go find a couple's reading, you know, and this isn't a couple reading. My readings are typically for people that are single or wanting out of a relationship, whatever the case is. So I feel as though you could be dealing with an earth sign or another air sign. You are wanting happiness, wanting to invest in finding happiness, trying to be logical at this time. Um, but you could be dealing with somebody that is only focused on everything but love, or that's you. You know, you could be feeling um, like you're not being loved by another person. They aren't giving you any, any uh, attention. Somebody's in denial right off the bat. Somebody is in denial with the two of swords. Somebody is blocking the truth even though they know the truth. I hear the truth. I see the truth. I know the truth, but I don't. This isn't true. It's not true. It's true, but it's not true, God. It's not. Okay? Somebody is being dishonest, whether it's this person or you. Somebody is being dishonest and they don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. But it's time to realize. Somebody is beginning to realize that there's another opportunity, you know, that there's another opportunity for happiness. Finding their confidence, their, their self-esteem again. You know, you could, you could um, be deciding, you know what, it's time to get out there. It's time to date. It's time to have some fun. Maybe I need to let my friends help me. Maybe I need to get together with my girls. Maybe I need to go out and just let loose. So I feel as though the, how other people see you, this is how other people see you, other people see that you don't want to accept the truth. Other people see that you're in denial. They see it. That's how other people see you. They see that you're investing in something that isn't true. You're turning a blind eye to the truth. Other people can see that. Maybe they think that you're being dishonest with yourself. Okay, because this is swords energy. This is somebody who's being dishonest with themselves carrying around some sort of baggage or weight that doesn't serve them and you're about ready to collapse you need to let it go you need to drop it you need to drop the baggage you need to you need to make a conscious change here something needs to end okay this is a card of freedom free yourself from this mental conflict free yourself from this situation in which you know you aren't getting anywhere there's a, a need to be logical confident have courage get creative Take the lead in your own life. Be the boss. I think that you guys are beginning to, to accept the truth, though, with that Five of Cups. There is an opportunity for happiness here. There is. I'm not sure where that's at because we're going to get a clarifier with that. Justice will be served, Aquarius. Your justice will be served. You could be dealing with a Libra. This is something that needs to be made final. Again, this is heavy and this is heavy. A heaviness. There's a heaviness that you've been carrying around that needs to be released so that you can bring balance back to your life. And it could be a relationship. This could be the completion of a relationship. could be with another, uh, an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Maybe you have a new opportunity for a happier relationship with, an, with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe you have a choice between two people. Just saying. Oh, yeah, but you're still holding on to something. 
Somebody is holding on. Needlessly on it, resisting change. Resisting a change. Tightly. Gripped. Gripped right on to something that they shouldn't be holding on to, put it that way. There's no need to hold on to that thing. You can put it down anytime. <laughs> what do you deserve, Aquarius? What do you deserve? Do you even know? Aren't you looking for a relationship where you're on equal ground? Aren't you looking for equality? You deserve equality. These are both cards of equality. You deserve to be treated as you treat others. Somebody has evolved. They're not the same person that they used to be. Somebody may be trying to escape the reality of how they really feel. This is often the fake it till you make it card. So somebody could be faking their own happiness, you know, trying to turn that silver into gold, you know, and that does happen over time. But there's a lot of work that that entails. You can, But the thing is, is you can't make somebody love you if that's what you're trying to do. That doesn't happen. There's no commitment here. There could even be a break in the commitment. There's a lot of discontent with something that you're holding on to that is just way too heavy for you to carry around. I don't know what it is, but it's not bringing happiness to your life. You have, you have to make some compromises. You need to allow yourself to heal and not try to escape the reality of whatever this situation is because that's what I think this is. You may be trying to escape the reality with drugs or alcohol or overeating or overindulging or some sort of addiction, whatever. Um, everything happens for a reason, okay? So keep that in mind. There's a reason why something didn't work out. There's an opportunity for happiness here if you accept the final outcome, if you accept the final the final judgment, you know, if you accept that something is done and over, if you accept it, you will find happiness with someone that is that wants to be in the picture. You know, this person wants to bring balance and harmony to your life. They do. There's a lot of balance here. Whoever this person is that that is around you is very balanced, very peaceful and has a lot to offer. It won't be one-sided. But you have to finalize something first. Let go of something. Let go and make it final so that you can find the happiness that you're not finding right now. There's no happiness in some situation, but there's an opportunity for growth and healing and like a rebirth here or the birth of a, a, a new relationship anyway. So a new relationship that could lead to something that is very on equal playing ground. You know, you guys are equal with each other. It's not you doing all the work, you know? Your intuition is telling you what to do. Your intuition knows the answer to this, whatever it is. You know that there's happiness on the other side. But I think to get to the other side, you're gonna have to let go of something that you've been hanging on to for quite some time. Something that you once were committed to. You know what this is, by the way. You do know what this is. Something is over. Something is ended. And you, you can't deny it. You can't. And you are denying it. You're holding on to it. You're holding on to something. You're in denial over something that is over. It's time to make it final. This is, this is the card of Libra. 
We have Sagittarius. We have Leo. It doesn't matter. We have all the signs, okay? But it's time. It's time for you to make this difficult decision so that you can bring balance back to your life. So I feel like there's an opportunity for for happiness here. I do, for happiness, but I think it's not with whoever it is that you're holding on to desperately. Um, there's a lot of love to be had, and this could be somebody that you've known for a really long time. Maybe it's somebody you knew when you were a child. This card can also say, you know, don't forget what love is supposed to be like. Have you forgotten what love is supposed to be like? Have you forgotten what... Think about this. Okay, we have children here and children here. You remember when you were young and you hadn't ever fell in love. And then when you fell in love, it was so innocent. It was the, the butterflies. That's what love is supposed to be like. And that's not just at the beginning. Throughout your... As you get older, this is as, as you evolve, whatever... You know, you get wiser and you have a lot of life experience behind your back. But love is supposed to be equal. There's supposed to be equal give and take. There's supposed to be effort. And you're supposed to be happy most of the time. So I feel as though you are in a situation in which you have to let something go to find the ultimate happiness and that's where you're stuck but you know what this is you need to stop juggling you need to stop playing games you need to make a decision you're so indecisive and because you're indecisive it's, it's causing chaos in your life because your heart isn't being fulfilled your happiness isn't being fulfilled you're involved in a one-sided situation somewhere. You're being called to take the blindfold off, accept the truth, release, and allow this new opportunity to happen. That's your justice. That's what you deserve. You deserve to be taken care of, just like everybody else. You have a golden opportunity waiting for you. A new partner, a new security, a new stability, something that is solid, stable, secure, and genuine. But you have to take the next step. Stop beat juggling. Stop playing games. Well, this is my game card. This is a player. and take that next step so that you can find this golden opportunity so you can allow it to happen so you can see it so you can accept it I mean there's a lot of happiness to be had there is if you will allow it allow it this could be with somebody you have known before one phase of your life is ending because you are beginning another one this ending needs to happen so that you can begin again Release and restart. With every ending brings a new beginning. And you have a new beginning like being offered to you right now. With a lot of, of happiness, bliss. I would take it. We're going to get you one of these. But you're going to have to let somebody else go. And that's what I see. Or a situation. Some situation needs to go so that you can find this stability that you so desire. You know that you want it. Make the effort. Great love. It's worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Do you want this great love? Because it's here. It wants you. It wants you.
You are limitless. Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to do. Do not let somebody hold you back that isn't giving. They're not putting in effort. It's not on equal ground. This person that is waiting for you, this golden opportunity is truly golden. It's equal. You don't have to do all the work. What's at the end of a rainbow? A pot of gold. It's all in your hands. There's an opportunity to find love again. Talk to you later.